Well, they tell us this not-so-popular grain makes a great winter soup. Wheat berries can add a touch of hearty sweetness. But don't eat it all at once. Tony and Stephanie Tantillo have the recipe. All right, we're going to do something so healthy this time of year. Hot, hearty, healthy. Ooh. Nice. Three H's. That's what you want with your soup. So what this soup is, it's a wheat berry soup. Okay. Now, we typically see like a farro and bean soup. So right. we're using pinto beans and wheat berries, which are similar. They're very healthy and they're really delicious in soup. So we started off with just the onions, garlic, and carrots. We caramelize them, tomato paste, and then some diced canned tomatoes, San Marzano, for uh -huh. some sweetness, some acidity. And then we just added in the uh, wheat berries. And the beans, we let them cook a little bit with the tomatoes, then the water, and it's all boiling. And that's it. Now, you don't use no stock again, right? No stock in this No salt. stock. This is just the water. It's the that water. That creates its own stock mm -hmm. with everything you have in there. With these vegetables. I love that. So pure. It's very pure. And it's, you know, it feels better when you eat it. It's very clean. And the tomatoes, you really taste them without the stock. Ah. Oh, yeah. That smell. Now, I'm going to plate it, and we're going to finish this off with something to give it just a little bit more freshness to it. Yeah. Okay. And we ready? didn't finally dice any of the vegetables which you typically see in uh -huh. a soup because this is a very rustic soup. So you want to keep it, you know, rustic and nice. Look how beautiful this is, Steph. Yeah. The stock itself, I mean, the next day this soup is going to even taste better oh. than th the day you serve it. Especially with the wheat berries because they really absorb all the flavor. Okay. Now we're going to put in a touch of those San Marzano tomatoes you talked about. Yep. They come right back around in the end when you plate it. Right on top, just like that. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, which you do not want to blend in to the soup. You want to just to let it fold in by itself. Exactly. And that's it. Cheese or no cheese? I don't think we need any cheese. Let's keep it healthy. We'll keep it healthy. Keep that's it, it done. I may add a little bit of cheese in there. Thank you, <laughs> no, Bella. I won't. Beautiful. Look at that soup. Beautiful. <laughs> Very hearty. Share your favorite winter recipe with Tony and Stephanie. Just log on to Facebook.com slash CBS New York.